afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone here to our signing day for our athletes here at Cuesta College. And I would like to just mention briefly that we do have track, baseball, late sports, softball that are, you know, finishing up. So some of those athletes are getting looks and offers. So, you know, they haven't quite yet signed. So I do want to mention that, that that doesn't reflect all the players here today that we'll be looking to sign. And we have others that are deciding, you know, what to do and where to go. So with that, I want to get started today. And I'd like to welcome the parents, administration, coaches, uh, this is a great way to cap the year. I think it just shows all the hard work that players put into a season, but not just being a player, but being a student. I think it's first and foremost, you got to pass in the classroom before you can pass on the court or pitch or hit, whatever your sport is, you've got to be able to pass in a classroom. And I, I'm really proud of the athletes that we have. They've exemplified that with their GPAs, their hard work. And I also want to mention a lot of these athletes, you know, they, they make big sacrifices. They travel to get here. Some of them come as far as Guadalupe and other areas, but they do uh, travel to come up here every day, Santa Maria, Napomo, as well as Paso. So we do have athletes that come around from various parts of the community. And they do have to study. They, some of them have jobs. So I, I do think this is quite an accomplishment. I would like to thank the parents. I bet all of you are so happy this day has come. You finally get to see your son or daughter sign, and what a great thrill that must be. I mean, I, I can only imagine. I've had my own daughter. I, I was able to sit in a seat and watch that, and I know it's a great feeling, and especially because some of you are getting money to move on. That's even a better feeling, as well as the opportunity to play and get a great education. So today's format is I'm going to introduce um, my first player, which is basketball. My name is Ron Barb. I'm the head basketball coach for Cuesta College Women's Basketball. And it's my privilege today to introduce Maya Armenta. And Maya Armenta came to us from uh, Rigetti High School. Uh, she's a Santa Maria product. I was fortunate enough to meet Maya when she was a young little player in bitty basketball. And I got to watch her grow and then I always thought she was college material, and in my uh, view, size doesn't matter. And with this player, she showed she could rebound with the six-foot people, she could pass through them, drive through them, and just a complete competitor. I, I can't say enough about her, her heart, her determination, and what she does for a team. She is not a selfish player. This player wants to win, and she tries to make her teammates better. She's a leader. I think uh, Westcliff University in Irvine, a division, uh, I would call it an NAIA school, but they're going to really get a great product here. This player will move their program in another notch. She will make the other players better down there. Her leadership will be seen on and off the floor. And I can't tell you how proud I am of her to be sitting here today being able to sign this letter of intent. I know her dad over there is smiling big time right now and her fans over there. So I, I appreciate uh, you guys coming today to watch this. Maya uh, was fourth in all time steals here at Cuesta College. She was second all time career assist here. She's fourth all time in steals. Um, she's uh, was our co-most valuable player this year along with Maddie Collins. And she was our team captain, and she was uh, all tourney in several of the tournaments she participated in over the past two years. But one of the things that I said earlier in the year is Maya, Maya is actually five foot one. She plays like a giant on the basketball court. She leads by example by her will to win, her heart, effort, and leaves everything else on the floor. What she does and brings to the team is immeasurable. Uh, she makes her team better by what she does and she can compete at the highest level versus very strong and big opponents. So don't judge a book by its cover when it comes to Maya Armenta. Congratulations Maya and we look forward to great things from you. Yeah. At this time I'd like to bring up Coach Bob Milliner, baseball coach. Thank you. I'm also pleased to be able to introduce three 
players that are signed up for the baseball program to you today. And like most programs, we also have other athletes that are, we have some on visits today, some that are going this weekend, and others are still working that process out. But these three are very fortunate. They have that uh, process done in hand. They know where they're headed for the next year. They've all made a significant contribution to our program in the time that they've been here. Johnny is a three-year player. He's been here the longest time for, for three years. Mason is a two-year contributor to the program, and, and uh, Zach Tora has been with us for one year. But uh, whether it's been a three, two, or a one-year type of deal, again, the impact is immeasurable. Uh, starting with Johnny being a right-handed pitcher, <clears throat> first of all, the game today, the game of baseball, is dominated by power. Power hitting and power arms. And we present that in all three of the players that are up with us today. Johnny is a power right-handed pitcher. He's an upper 80s, low 90s pitcher that uh, is signed with San Jose State. And they expect him to make a huge contribution. It's a program that uh, has fantastic coaches, a great tradition to build upon. They haven't been where they want to be in the last few years, but Johnny is a building block for them in their future as he progresses. They're getting a guy that will work, a guy that has had success, he's had postseason success, and been a huge leader for our program for three years. Congratulations. Mason, Mason had a little different story. Uh, his uh, season this year was, was uh, hampered by a uh, broken bone in his hand, a baseball injury called the broken hammock bone. But uh, he's a feared hitter. I've been here for 17 years. And if you look at the home run numbers, he doesn't lead in the home run numbers. But he presents serious bat speed, the ability to utilize a whole ballpark. He led our team in doubles last year and was on pace to put up some big damage before the injury. So, I mean, I, I liken him to a guy, Logan Schaefer, who we had who played in our program, who made it to the big leagues and now fit with the Brewers. He's that type of hitter. He's got that good of approach to play. The swing is short, and he presents the opportunity to do some damage with power back. So, and you're headed to where? Fresno State. To be a bulldog. <laughs> from Fresno, so that's going back home. He's excited about that. Is that true? Yeah. And then Zach Tora, left-handed pitcher, we had the fortune of having him for just one year, but again, the impact was huge. He was a starting pitcher for us for the duration of the season. Uh, he's a power arm, and he comes from the left side, a left-handed pitcher that's a power pitcher. Very hard to find, we're very fortunate here. He was a leader in the very short time that he was with the program. But uh, he signed to go to UC Santa Barbara, and they have very high expectations to help for him to help them get back to Omaha. Congratulations. Thank you. Our athlete from Aquatics is uh, Tori White. Uh, Tori was our athlete of the year last year for swimming. And uh, this year she came back in red shirt for water polo. She's been going to uh, Cal State in Monterey Bay uh, for water polo. So, uh, instead of swimming. <laughs> so, swimming's a great sport. She was a number one, uh, with the 100 freestyler last year in the, in the country, in the GC level. And she came back this year and she worked out with our water polo team, kind of as our assistant coach all season long, and got herself back into the water polo and she's ready to play at the, at the four year level. Uh, I didn't know we were going to get Tori to leave, leave here. I thought she was going to stay here and get to collect associate's degrees for the rest of her life. Uh, she comes over here from Los Osos, and, uh, but kind of convinced her to stay on the coast and get up to Monterey Bay. And uh, I think she's going to do a great job for her program up there. She's uh, already got the speed. She's one of the most tenacious players you've ever seen in the water. Just uh, always going 100%. Uh, that's w what she did. That's why she was a sprinter because she could carry it on. She would go 100% for as long as she could, and she does that every day. Uh, she's a great vision of the pool, one of our leaders in assists all time here, and one of our great uh, scorers also. Swimming-wise, she is uh, in our top 10 in eight individual events. She's just amazing all the way across the board, just put her in the water. I trust her, she lifeguards it right down by my, down my, house, by my house, and so she watches after my kid. She even let me know when she saw a shark in the water. So, uh, Tori's going to have a great career up there in Monterey Bay. I think she's going to do a terrific time. So, Tori White. We're going to end one more time. We have uh, 
Brian Loker is going to do our Jack from Field Across the Country, and then we'll uh, have a sign. Just watching the crowd actually today is, is really nice. I just wanted to mention that it's fantastic to see the support for our student athletes here at Cuesta College. And I think this is a, a bigger turnout than we've had in any, any year prior, so it's really fantastic to see um, friends and, and parents and relatives come out to help support our athletes. Um, I've had a really great time coaching all of these three young ladies. And uh, I think, you know, when I'm standing back there and thinking about what I want to say, why I'm here, the thing that comes to me the most is. Uh, Twofold. It's uh, first is leadership with these three ladies. Uh, they've also all served in as a role as team captain uh, while in their time here at Cuesta College, um, and did a fantastic job in doing it. Being a team captain of sometimes fifty plus people who are on your team can be a formidable task. Try to organize them, rally them, keep a positive attitude, um, give good effort, and uh, all of these girls have done a great job um, in their capacity to be able to manage the team atmosphere and communicate with their coaches effectively. Um, and the other thing that's really important to me about these three young ladies is their development within the program. Uh, Bailey will be going to Fresno State next year. Um, she's going to go back to the Valley where she originally came from. Um, she came to Cuesta College to be a volleyball player and we picked her up in the spring after volleyball season. Um, and we knew she was going to be a good leader right away. Um, and the thing that was really great about uh, Bailey is that she turned into uh, a state qualifying uh, pole vaulter. Um, she fell in love with the pole vault, uh, loved the event, wanted to be a part of it, just really soaked up the atmosphere of pole vault. Um, and in two years in our program, um, turned from an eight foot vaulter into a 10 foot vaulter and qualified the state championships this past weekend. Um, and also for Sam. <laughs> For Sam Dustin, uh, she's you know a young lady coming from a local high school who didn't think she had an opportunity to uh, go on to the next level of university, um, but through her ability to listen and, and stay diligent to her passion of running and continue to, to, to work with a strong work ethic, uh, she's actually going to find a place and a home next year at Humboldt State. Last is Kirsten Purcell, who's been, a, a, like I said, a team captain for us and last year qualified to the state championships, becoming an All-American in the 800 meters, where she finished fourth. Uh, she's run 215 for us, served on the 4x1, served on the 4x4, um, and she's going to be following in her parents' footsteps, who went, both went to Chico State, as well as her brother. Yeah, so uh, the, family, the family path has led her to Chico State, where she's going to be running the 800 next year. And uh, so you wait till after Zach, Zach signs, okay? So ready? Let's go ahead and go call her. <laughs> All right, we got to wait. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, Quest College does a great job of moving our athletes on. We have uh, always have great athletes. Uh, the percentage of athletes we move on or, or make honor roll and go on to the four-year level is pretty amazing. And it's been really a pleasure to be up here with you guys and seeing you guys move on to the next level and make your choices. Uh, before you go, uh, if you'd like to talk to the, to, the, to the athletes here, we also have cake over here in the corner. And thank you very much for joining us today for our, our signing day.